Prepare yourselves for an unforgettable journey into the world of Karen madness. From mind-boggling entitlement to mind-blowing meltdowns, we've curated the most shocking and jaw-dropping moments for you to see. Let the madness begin. Watch as Karen, in a moment of entitlement, kicks a service animal only to face the consequences of her actions. Even after getting arrested, she doesn't seem to run out of things to say. A true Karen in action. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? So the asshole really did call you, huh? Yes. Good. What's going on? Last dog jumped on him. Afterwards, I kicked him in the ass. You kicked him. Okay? Poop. You kicked him. So poop. what, uh, what would you like to discuss? What's the story? What's the story? I asked the man why he had the dog in here. It's a service dog. Where's his chocolate? Where's his proof? I don't have to show you. The law says I don't have to. I said, well, we'll go up to the desk then. I don't have to show them either. I said, because he's not a f***ing service dog. And then the dog jumped on me. So I turned around and I kicked him in the air. You have your ID on you? He then presented this thing. I don't do this. I don't sell this to people. But here's this thing. I said, shove it up your rear. Okay. Well, he doesn't have to. Number one, you don't work here. Uh, it's not no, your right to be asking around. Uh, it's not my right? No, it's not. Oh, well, here. I don't, need, thing. I don't need your debit card. I yeah. need your ID. Why not? You're going to give me a ticket. As a matter of fact, you are going to jail. Oh, that's even better. Yep. So, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Give me a f***ing Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Can I put my wallet away? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Unbelievable. Yeah, you How old are you? I'm 80. You're 80. Acting yeah. like a 14 year old. <laughs> Kevin gets too busy fighting these restaurant employees and forgets what he ordered online. Get your mental health checked out, man. Whatever drink you got. Is it small? Yeah. Uh, uh, Nathan, uh, two large strawberry bananas. Two large 
Watch as Karen unleashes a tirade that would make a toddler's tantrum seem like a calm Sunday stroll. She's mad about staff and customers because they're of Indian descent. Karen in Tim Hortons is mad because the staff is Indian and I was walking into the store, she blowed on me because the customers are also Indians. What's the fact? The fact is that they're all Indians. Stop being racist. Why did they, they all get jobs? And why they, they because you guys don't work. That's why we get the jobs. What? Say that again? Yeah, you're nothing. Why are you being racist? Watch this dog owner turning into a Karen and having a meltdown at a shop. This next Kevin wants all the smoke for what he has done. Right here, buddy. Right here. Tell me what you're doing. Burning out racing through my neighborhood. Burning out racing through my neighborhood. Do not to. I'm not in your face. Get out of my neighborhood. Who got the gun? Who got the gun? The guy who's got a permit to carry. You're the one that would get a gun. All right. Get out of this neighborhood. All right. Get out of this neighborhood. But y'all want to smash the window? Smash the window? In a world where common courtesy should prevail, Karen begs to differ. For her, leaving someone's property is equivalent to a personal insult, a challenge she's unwilling to back down from. Proof that Karens can be colored hair millennials too. Get off my property. Then you can talk to them off of my property. You can you talk to them. Out here and confront me like this. Confront you? You're on my property. Property, you dumb bitch. I would appreciate if y'all could send somebody out. Get off of my property while you wait for them to come out. Ask her right now what you should do. And this is not it. This is not it. Go sit in your car while you wait. Because you sitting right here after I've told right, you not yes, to is breaking the law. Me to oh my god. Yes, um, I was just transferred over to y'all. I'm not sure why I couldn't... Really has the audacity to stay standing on my porch. Somebody was yelling at me, which is the reason that I'm calling. Um, I'm <laughs> somebody was to, yelling at her. I'm trying to attempt to make a trade with a woman that is threatening to burn my items. <laughs> um, and now that I am here at her residence, attempting to give her her items back, she is... Claiming she doesn't have my items, even though this morning she admitted to having No, my never items. admitted to having your property. I do not have your property here. You can go to your car and get off of my property. I'm sorry, ma'am. I couldn't hear you. I'm <laughs> sorry. I couldn't hear you. Oh, my God, dude. I told you this I'm was crazy. Five, I told you she was out of her mind. Cleaver Road, number 88. Um, Shady Creek. Get off my property. My name is Crystal. Leave. Two, one, four, five, four, one, four, nine. Oh my God, dude. Like I said, pushed her off the porch. Thank you so much. She's got the cops um, coming. Stay on the phone with me while they come. Um, I'm getting. Tell her to get right off there. my property. Tell her well, to you, leave my you porch. You are four inches from my face. You, you need are to get on away my. From porch no there's no getting away from you you are on my property, you, oh Crystal. my god move do move. not i have this all on camera me. get off of my porch 
You can go call the cops sitting in your car on the public street. Get off of my property. The cops have already been called, Barbara. They Get off of my property room. while you wait for them. I was on the phone with them and I don't really, I don't have to talk to you actually. You, you don't, don't know, know what's going on here. You don't, you don't know what's going on Like here. you do know it's illegal to be on people's property. You are on my property. And it's illegal to burn something that is not yours. Okay, you, sure. This morning, when you leave something at my house for, you know, days on end, hours, weeks. I messaged you an months. hour after you ended our friendship requesting the trade. That's a lie. That's a lie. Oh my God. Yep. That seen. Okay. Let's I see the screenshots. Okay. Texting. Sure. Get in your car and wait for the cops. Get off of my property. Coming up next is this wild Kevin. He's bursting out with anger on this employee. You're going to ask me to me and you can take these and show them up Because here's No. I know what I want. What are you going to do, fool? I swear to God. Trust me. I will see you in front of How can you not have cash? Money. It's a time you want to speak to you. I don't care about kids. You'll probably get worse. Get out of the store. Oh. Oh. This is waste my time. Call the cops. How do you not have cash on f***ing hands? Why did you say you have one? Get out. Wait, dude, get out. It's not your concern. Get out of the store. I don't give a f***ing Get out. Wow, get out. Good one. Get out of here. Step into the heart of a gripping emotional clash as an angered, possibly intoxicated Kevin confronts a London bus driver. You're shame, you fat, ugly bull You look like a minion. Yeah, your head is more shiny. Get some Marmite, put it on there, yeah? How about a bit of Marmite? Put it on your head. Hey, ain't my fault you're ugly, you You can let me on the bus. You cut off. Job's worth could you live on the bus and then you cut your mouth closed? Jobs were I bet you're none. I bet your mum's proud of you. Now you're gonna make me punch something up. You're gonna fuck my mini Ralph. I bet your mum is proud of you. It ain't my fault you got big ears, you're ugly. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, you are so ugly. No, your teeth look like a bag of chips. Who's the idiot? You're the idiot not for letting me on the bus. You're gonna get your mouth stung, let me on the bus. Who's the idiot? You, jobs were They look funny, is it? I think you look funny. You're a job drive you've caused a big drama overnight. Well you gotta do keep your mouth stung, let me go on the bus, two stops. And now I've got to wait for another bus. You jobs were I beat you on Friday up. I bet that mum's proud of it. He can let me on, can he? Two stops. Job's worth. Job's worth. Have a day off. I hope you get home and you're happy. If I was your mum, I would be happy with you. Caught in a property dispute, this woman confronts her crazy neighbor for crossing boundaries, sparking a heated verbal clash. How would you handle neighbors like these? Okay. You gotta get your dog. You gotta put your dog on a leash. You gotta keep your dog out of my yard. Oliver. Sorry. Like, no, this is not a sorry thing. This is like the fourth or fifth time this has happened. Okay, you don't want to get rowdy. I'm okay. not getting rowdy. I'm upset. Okay. I'm not okay. recording. Okay. I'm not going inside. This is my property. I don't have to go inside. I'm not on your property. I never was. Yeah, you can't even pick your own trash when it falls in the front. I'm not on your property. And you're yeah. Yeah. You look you look crazy. You look I like you've lost. Show you crazy. Show me crazy then. Come show me crazy. I would love it. Yeah. Come take show your, me crazy. Take your ass inside. I'm not taking my ass inside my own house. Oh. 
I can do what I want on my property. I I have barely even raised my voice at you. Okay. You're acting ridiculous. You're acting like you're you're acting like a child. You guys go play and ignore this thing. You're acting like a child. Is this how you talk to people? Is this how you talk to people? Because I haven't disrespected you one bit. I wish to God. I wish to God you put your hands on me. You Girl, you better get the Or what? You're on my property. Be on whatever. What are you, black? You're black? So you got rights? Oh, girl. Let, let's make it get good. Let's, let's make it good. No, 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 no. She got to say what she got to say. And I haven't stepped over my property line. But I will make sure everybody knows you're a racist. Yeah. Come on. You are racist. I'm not you racist. You think you're black, so you're up in my face, right? Yeah. No, I'm up in your face. Oh, she's black, you guys. Be scared. Run. I don't give a flying if you're purple. You let your dog run in my garage for the fourth time. My, my garage on my property. How am I wrong? Go. And now you're going to put your hands on your mother and push her too? Have you lost your mind? You're scaring your children. You're literally scaring your children. Is this how you're going to act in front of your kids? Is this maturity? Because I asked you not to let your dog run in my garage? What are you trying to do a record? You're trying to do a record on the phone? I've already recorded you. you. I've been really? recording you. Absolutely. Hi, guys. Oh, this I'd is love. a freak who had a alert telling me instead of being nice i'm not gonna get ready for a gripping train drama showdown between a resilient homeless woman and a determined young guy that's true yeah that's true you don't watch your what you say lady better watch what you say yo karen Watching the whole thing. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You full of. Okay, I'm watch. I watch the whole deal. You go on. You having a problem? You homeless. That's the problem. Don't take it out on him. Take it out on your city leader. He said it. He said he's gonna beat me up. Yeah, but yeah, but you got on there with him. That's a minor. Okay, get that right. Don't look at color. Look at the age. He's okay. He's a thug. That's a man. No, he's not. Thugs. He's a human being. I don't have to like your colors. Keep walking. Keep talking. Go that way. Yeah, yeah. Woman, you better get on with your problem. You can't go uh -huh. around here calling people. Okay? I, that he is he over said, with. Get on. He said. Get on. I don't want to hear that. You get the on. Time your music. Let that go. You want trouble. You can't let it go. Okay? You get the f on. Low life. Yeah. Get ready for the next scene featuring two Karens disrupting the peace in a quiet community. It seems they believe throwing around foul language gives them a cool factor. Guys, perhaps tone down the attitudes and keep those profanities to yourselves. What you say? What you say? You chalked it to me? Eh? No. You don't have ball. Where is it? You don't have ball. No, it's dead body. I put a tribe in. Tell me, what you say? What you say? I'll take that off your nose, Chuck. I never touched you. You're going to need my husband again and I'll touch you. Get off your nuts. Don't touch me. Everything. Get out of my face. Well, move then. Okay. Move then. I'll call the police right now. I'll be calling the police because all this. You are pure up and twa. You're off your head, random people on a bus Go watching on. you. Who the f watch you? On. Get off, you You get that wing thing off, you know. Go get on. the f out my Go face. You, get you come away. here. You, you get, get away, away. you wanna. You get away from you're me. A you're a f you're a you're a f 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 Your cat when you're out walking your dog, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. What? It's not your business. I don't know.
It was my business. Just stop. Just stop. Call the police. I won't call the police. My business is when you're I taking photos of my husband away from and accusing him of running out of room. my house. Go away. No, it's not. It's still Go public. Away. Still public. That Go is your away. house. Go that away. That is your house. Go when away. When you accuse my Go husband away. of following you, away. you're away. nuts. You crazy. What you. Do you no, you're crazy. You. You're crazy. I've seen all no. that stuff. No, I I don't you touch me. Don't you I didn't push you. You push me. I didn't push you. You push me. Right? All the you off about my neighbours and everything. Your wife, away from me. You're nuts. Uh -huh. You're driving them nuts. How dare you do that? Send the letters to my work. They just, yeah. It's all rubbish. It's all no. in the bin. It's all in the bin. You're a nut job. I've seen all the you put up in Twitter. You're not right in How the head. How do you know my Twitter? You put it up publicly, you f idiot. How do you know my Twitter? Because we've seen you on it. Because you've me. Your Twitter no, has been sent to the police. Me? Your Twitter you. has you know been sent to the police. How do you know my Twitter? Because we typed down your name. My name what? How do you know my name? Because you sent a letter to my wife. You sent a letter to his wife, no. your no, no, money. No, my name is not a Twitter name. Yes, it is. Yes, my yes, name is not a Twitter name. Oh, right, near it is. So it's just got photographs of your wife. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face. My side is behind us. You, you, you. This shoplifter attempts to steal, but the vigilant worker swiftly intervenes, retrieves the items, and tosses him out like yesterday's trash. Are you for real? Are you for real? Are you for real? Are you for real? Careful. Yeah, What's your name? This Karen is more interested in causing trouble than minding her own business. Look at you! Look at you! You don't even know he said that. You I know he said that. You are stupid, he said that to a guy on a you hot are mic. Stupid. I'm not stupid. You're yes, you are. No, I'm not. How many so women listen. have filed suit against him for grabbing? I have them? no idea. How many I, women I, well, filed suit against Bill why Clinton? Why are you defending Trump if you don't have no idea? I am, will defend Trump till the day I die. Well, you're a pig. Well, what? A pig. A pig? I'm a pig. Okay, what's your name, sir? How you? Yeah, well, let's see. Ed. Ed. Ed and Mary, Penn State. Okay, because I'm going to send this to Donald Trump and Donald Trump Jr. Good. And tell him that you're... And tell Donald Trump to come down here. I want to punch him right in the nose. You won't punch him in the nose. I would punch him right would in the really? nose. Would you really? Okay, well, well I'll, t I'll tell him. Tell him. I'll tell him that you say he's a sexual predator. He's a pig. He's, and that he's a bigot and a racist. An angry Karen has a fit at this innocent delivery guy. Watch her losing her cool. Is this new for you? No, Karen. What the f*** are you talking about? Well, a Karen. I'm a, I'm a Karen now. I'm a Karen that cares about my street when you're sitting there and tailgating people. How am I tailgating? I'm, I'm doing deliveries. I don't even live over here. You, oh, exactly. You don't give a f*** about where, you, where you're at right now, right? What, where you, who are you delivering for? Why does that matter? What's that? Why does that matter? Why does it matter? Because my son can't even ride his bike in our neighborhood because people like you sit there driving around like a. And tailgating anybody. You were tailgating. Who? I want uh, tailgating the guy in front of me, on our street that was trying to turn into his house. I'd like to know where you're living. I was not tailgating. We, we was. We were. Hun? We was. We were. We... Here, I'll, I'll take what. I was not tailgating. Him. No, it's cool. Hey Siri, call nine one one. Call him. I didn't. I wasn't tailgating him. Should I call emergency services? You literally chasing me down the hey, street. Hey Siri, call Wilco. Not emergency. Just to confirm, you'd like to call Wilco non-emergency? Yes. Calling Wilco non-emergency. 
I'm gonna go do my delivery, so you can do what you gotta do. Please don't walk up on me. Don't you stay over there. I wanna know where you're delivering. Don't, it does not matter, it's none of your business. Harassing someone online can land you in the same exact situation as this Karen. This? Okay. Explain to me how my human rights with my medical condition cannot walk through a store when it's totally fine for me to walk through a store. Do you have a medical note? I don't need to give you my medical note. I have my puffer with me, but that's none of your business. But it's their store policy? It isn't, a, it isn't a law. It is, but it's their it store is not a law. If they're asking you to leave their store, they have the right to refuse you service. I'm not causing a harassment. I'm not doing anything but you browsing. Actually... I'm just browsing. You are harassing me. But Look at you. Look, you there's leave. three of them. One, they've two, three, leave, and security. And all I'm doing is looking in Lush here. I wanted to buy something for my husband. But they're refusing you service. You shop online if you wish. Yeah. I said I didn't want to shop online because I want to browse here in the store, well, see what it that. smells like. But they've asked you to leave multiple times, so can you please just leave or we'll and it, be calling the cops? And if I don't, you're going to call the cops. We will. Do you understand that you're breaching my human rights? I don't know. I don't I need that. just standing in here. It's their store policy. I have nothing to do with their store I policy. Can you give me the number of the head office, please? Of their head office? Yeah. I don't have their number. Can you write the head office number down for me? Thank you. I uh, will I'll keep you updated here. There's like three of them in a Talk about in call me intimidation, hey? Ma'am, they've just asked you to leave the it's store. It's none That's of it. my business what you were taught. I know the law. Okay. And I know my constitutional so human rights property, so if they've asked you to leave and this is this is public property no, no, to walk not. on no, it's not. so i'm this just looking i did property. nothing but look everybody knows i did nothing but look until they started telling me i had to wear a mask you actually did pick up product just to be clear on your on your video you did pick up product i picked up product i was actually going to buy it yeah, which was until you started you harassing me so you're harassing me sorry i'm not okay. yep you are so I have the number here, right, so I'm going to call her office. Fair, you can call them. You and if somebody can just call the lawyer, I'll post this online. Okay. Thank you. Have a good okay. day. Bye-bye. This Kevin teacher insults a student and faces confrontation. Notice his nonchalant demeanor as if he's committed no wrongdoing. What kind of lesson is Kevin imparting to these students? That it brings us fitting, that brings us this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, so little, I know, you can't understand that. It's racist, for so white man is saying, so Racist. Ian, would you yeah. say Would you ever say no? Corporal would never say Would you say Would y'all, would y'all white people say Nobody wouldn't say <laughs> How did you? Well, you know what a commoditized word means? You explain, explain it to me. Explain it to me. That's a word that's used so many times that it doesn't mean it's original. It's used meaning. by people. It's used, used by everyone. No, no, you use it. Don't, don't, don't say everyone. The word has become commoditized so that anyone can use it and it's no, not no, a no, negative no, connotation. No, it's a negative Oh, it's, it's a negative connotation. For you to say it to me is negative. Okay, okay. When you hear it in, in a bunch of songs. Are those people by, being negative by, when they by, use by it? Black black men, by black black men, by black black men, by black men, by the word mean when they use it? By my friend, by white men. Who's his friend? Eminem, okay. who's a f***ing rapper, said he would never say anything to the f***ing And he said, if you say a word, it means friend. And if I say a word, the same word, it means something different. Yes, that's not true. Just the it's not. It's not. It's not if you want the world to move on. If you want the world to be what the way it was 50 years ago, then you're true. The more you move on, because white people aren't saying. If a white man says, it's just not moving on. You say it's slavery. I'm a. It's like that makes no sense. Nobody uses that word. Yes, they do. Nobody says. You just say it. You acting like don't. Conversation, you can say the word, but I can't. You can't say this. Calling somebody. The that orders are not your teacher. Don't say that. I'm not calling you anything. I don't know. No one's calling you. You said it. You said it. You said it. I'm, dude. If dude, we're if we're in a class and I'm teaching you, hey, the word is an old. <laughs> dude, that, please, it's a word, bro. You cannot go through life and act like a word. Stop saying that shit can affect you. Stop saying. Point blank. Period. You keep saying it. I can say it. I said it one time. You missed your conversation. We had a whole assembly. We were talking about basketball. We had an assembly after school.
25 times. I can say it. I'm doing that. I can say it. Parking in disabled areas and trying to overpower this man by claiming she's a cop. Clever move, Karen, but you aren't getting anywhere. Take a look. Leave me alone, bro. Like, what is your problem? Like, why are I, you fighting with me? Uh, miss, I don't have a problem. I understand, it's, but like, you were parked over there. There was nowhere to park. Like, I pulled up. But it's but, it, but it's disabled parking spot. Okay, so why it, is it, it bothering you so much? You, are you disabled? Were you trying to park there? Maybe I am. But why is it bothering you so much? Hi, everybody. How are you? Like, my what? father is disabled. Okay, but was your father here trying to park here? If your father was here, I would move in two seconds. But you shouldn't park here. Happy. But you told me you were a police officer. I, and I am a police officer. You're a Haver police officer. Not a Haver police officer. But you did earlier. But I am. But I am. I'm a Revere police officer. Revere. What's Revere. your name? Revere. My name is Christina. What's your badge number? I'm not giving you my badge number. Well, no need to give my badge number. you have to. No, I do not have to give you my badge number. If you identify yourself as a police officer, you have to give me your badge number. You, you want me to call my husband? Yeah. Call your husband. Here we go. People who thrive on drama seem oblivious to how unpleasant they appear when they misbehave. Consider Kevin, who, after bumping into another person, dismissively remarks, Don't touch me. It's all the time talking in between. It, the, because you we are trying to help to you. You're raising your yeah. voice. Just keep if it down. Yes, right. of course, because you are talking in between and it's not nice. It's not the way how everybody But you can't yell at me. people. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. To show us or to demonstrate. Okay. So we just need you to contact hotel tonight, you. that's all. It's not allowed to make any rockers, eh? You know this one. And what is your name, Manit? It is, because you no. name, it is, okay. you're recording us, right? Yeah. Not mouth, Manit? Hey, don't touch our belongings. Whoa. Hey. Wow, he's rude. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch our things. Simple as that. Wow. Very rude. Okay, hold on. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't push me. Don't push me. This heartless Kevin exploits his employees, and when they ask for a raise after seven years, he tries to kick them out. Seriously? He should be charged for this act. Things in leave. Are you classifying that you are firing me on the spot? I'm firing you on the spot. Can, you I, can, get that that can I get that Can I get that in paper and in right here? You can tell him to put, I'm going to call the police in about 30 seconds. You do you want to do it in Tito? Yeah, very good. Call, you can call the police. I'm not trespassing. This is what happens when you ask for a raise. Like, I'm sorry. You really shouldn't work for A and B S in Pleasant Valley. The most out of all of these great people that have showed you loyalty. Yeah, I've worked here for seven years without a raise. What kind of boss are you? I'll be paid 950, 875 to like what? People that have been here seven years, man. Like, I want to show my loyalty to this place. I enjoy this job. All right. But the fact, the way you run this place, it's more than all you like, my friend. Would you please leave? Tia, you, you guys, are we staying or are we leaving? We're not leaving. Like, you are leaving my premises. You're trespassing. You're no longer. I am still an employee. You're no longer until you show me a piece of paper. Authorized I'm to be on my bill. Until okay. you show me a piece of paper that I'm no longer an employee, right. I'm staying. Really? I'm getting the cops called on me? Okay. Oops. <laughs> I think we need to be. Call the cops. You can't even be a manager. Jesus Christ. You spoke to your staff. We are your staff. Jesus Christ. Yep. We asked for a raise. That's all we did. We're making minimum wage. I've been here for seven years. Uncover the neighbor's cat caper in an amusing and captivating way. Hello. Hey. Yeah, we're here about the cat, the little gray cat. The little gray cat no yeah. one's looked for for a week? Uh, I've been over here already. Yes. Just once. Don't come with an attitude. I've taken very good care of her. I understand. Thank you. You can see my house from yours, and no one's been here but one time in a week. She's sick. We've wormed her. We're taking her to the vet. How many cats you got? Because your brother says you have 13, and you don't want 13, them huh? That's what Brandon said. You have 13 cats, and you don't want them in We the have house. six cats. And I know Thank you're you. recording. Yes, I am. stupid. No one has called you stupid. Can you prove that she's your cat? Yes. Uh, yes, I can. I don't want an attitude. You're at my house. Well, you are I in just... possession of my cat. And I would like her back. Okay? As of this moment. How old are you, son? 
I'm 16, but you're in possession of my cat, and I'd like her back. My porch, don't talk to me like that. I haven't earned that. If anything, you should say thank you for finding your cat running around. If it's your cat. The cat it was is. in her backyard. Yes. Who came in your yard? I don't know. We were not out there. This really wasn't the attitude I expected y'all to come over with. I came over nice one time, asked for the cat. I got somebody walking on my porch asking me if they could keep the cat, and I said no. The cat has not been returned. Can I pay for the cat? No, you cannot. I can take you somewhere where you can pick out any cat you would like. Yeah, oh, nearly any cat. They're not mine. They're out there at my sister-in-law's. Do you understand my point of nobody being here in over a week since I've had her? And that I've got attached The night like she you. didn't come in, I had a bad feeling. And then when I told she was brought into someone else's custody, I wasn't happy about that. Okay, that's fine. But son, I'd like to speak to your dad, the adult. Okay? I don't I don't want to get stupid with you, and I don't want you talking to me like that. I just want my cat back. I understand your point. Do you see my point also? No, I don't. I really believe that you guys are stealing. Mm -hmm. Stealing? Yes. Stealing a cat that was found running I am family? giving you 24 hours before I file a police report. I expect the cat to be returned to us. We have proof that the cat is ours. That's all I'm asking for is proof that you have the cat that is yours. Not a picture, buddy. Because I saw lots of cats on, on the internet. Okay. Um. How about a picture of you and the cat? Oh, I just showed her that. How about when I first saw her? I would love to see that. I just want to know that you love her like I've come to love her. I've had her a week. From my friend's house. Can you tell me what's wrong with her? She has chronic diarrhea. He ah. just got his first paid first job. We are taking the kitten to the vet when he gets his money to pay for his cat. Okay. I wanted proof that you all actually knew the cat. Yes. yes. And proof that my niece said that was our cat wasn't enough. She saw a picture. Hmm. And a picture isn't enough? No, actually it's not. No, when it's, it's not someone else's cat Son, and they have come over please. here multiple times, no, that should be more time. than enough. This is the second time. I waited all evening Friday evening and no one showed up. Not I was told the cat was door. going to be taken to my house, brought back to me. Who told you that? Whoever drives this thing. My husband said that? Whoever watches Millie all the time. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What was her name? Linda? No. Um, Tabitha. My Tabitha. Daughter. Yes. She don't drive that. Tabitha you spoke came. To my husband directly. Yes, I spoke to your husband and Tabitha. We Tabitha came to my house and asked. Here. I thought you all were going to come back Friday evening. Nobody showed. Nobody showed yesterday. I thought you changed your mind. We expected the cat to be returned to us because Tabitha said she was going to be bringing the cat back. Just stay with you. No problem. I will not leave until she is in my possession. I will file a police report. I am not scared to. I think they may have wormed her too soon. Because you just wormed her. Yes, I did. And that crap was and like... you been worming her. She's I gave her five drops, which is what she's supposed to have. And she's not mm -hmm. supposed to have more than that after so many, like, weeks or so. I don't know. Hello, Tempei. Hi, baby girl. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hey, I'm going to tell you something right now. Don't come on my property again. If I see that cat out in this neighborhood again, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the animal control. You got me? You don't sure, have to go right ahead. Rough, okay? Goodbye. Have a great day. Wish you peace. A guy accidentally occupies Karen's spot, prompting her to unleash a lecture as if she's the self-appointed parking police. The state lost it. How have you come? Ma'am, he's, he's leaving. He doesn't live here. He can't leave until I move, and I'm not ready to I, I wasn't here, but for 30 no, seconds, I walk in to call pick up my daughter. Call me your call. You're not supposed to stand or park in somebody's driveway. Ma'am, it's in front of a building. I did not know. You my car was running. Drive. My car was running the entire time. No, but I leased that. Okay, okay. that's fine. We but didn't know what that. What apartment do you live in? Don't I'm worry there. about it. I did not know. I did not know. I didn't park in a handicap. You don't know. My car was running the whole time. Driveway? 
I was here for less than two minutes. So I can go to your I, house. I walked in, ma'am. I already apologize. I already apologize. And what you're saying, don't ma'am you. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm not doing anything else. I'm trying to back out. I picked up my daughter. I was here for two minutes. Okay, I've been parked for five. So you have. Ma'am, you have not been parked for five. You have not. He just got here to pick up his daughter How long from my house. A couple minutes, right? A couple minutes is two, which is what I said I was parked here for. That's not five. Man, I'm leave? trying to leave. Well, I'm so you want to get home. So get home then. Well, you're I can't because you're, you're in my way. You're in my way. I want to back up. You but being a kid. This is property. It's, this whole complex is not your property. I'm no, not trespassing. I leased this garage. Okay, and, and that's fine. And I'm trying and to you move. move. You you're been being a kid. Do you not understand? All right. For two minutes? He can't pick up his daughter? No, that's not a parking all right, spot. All right. Okay. Can you move? And, and you're not in a parking spot. You're actually partially out in the fire lane. So let, let's be on that. How about we do that? No, you're entitled. That's right, because I'm white. We rule. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you. That's you. That's you, right? 